it's Kaylee from Crochet Unraveled and in this video I wanted to teach you how to make this super cute solid heart granny square. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is your two colors. I'm going to be using the lavender here and then this hot pink. I really like how they look together. And then I'm using a five millimeter hook because I'm using medium weight yarn but if you're using a different weight of yarn, then make sure that you're using a corresponding sized hook and usually it will tell you what size of hook to use on the label of your yarn if you still have that. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to select which color is going to make up the heart of my granny square and I'm gonna use this pink again. So, before we get started, if you haven't already, or if this is your first time to my channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button because I have new tutorials coming out all the time and it's a free subscription and you get tons and tons of value and you can learn a lot from this channel. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is make a magic circle. And if you don't know how to do this, I'm just going to overlap my yarn, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to twist that loop and just chain one, pulling it tight to keep my circle from falling apart. If you need a more in-depth tutorial about this, make sure you go and watch my video on how to make a magic circle. And if you'd rather, you can also just chain three and then slip stitch to the first chain that you crocheted. And that will create a little circle that you can then crochet your first round into. All right, so here we are. We just made our magic circle. I'm going to start by chaining three. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to do two cro double crochets into that magic circle. So there's one, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. So that's our first little cluster there. And to start our next one, we're going to chain two. This will create the corner, the first corner. And we're going to do three double crochets into that magic circle or your circle that you created with your chains. Now, sometimes your magic circle gets a little hard to work with, so I like to just cinch it up a little bit and make it smaller and more manageable. Okay, so now we have our first two clusters and we're going to make the second corner by chaining two and then do another three double crochets. And we're going to repeat this whole thing one more time with the chain two. chain two, and then three double crochets, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna pull my circle all the way tight. And if you'll notice, we only made three corners, so we need to chain two to make that fourth corner. And then what you're going to do to close out this round is just do a slip stitch in the top chain from your starting chain there. So the third chain that you crocheted. So there's our first round. And we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into these next two double crochets and then into this corner space 
And that is how we're going to get over to that corner to start our second round. So just slip stitching and we are where we want to be to start that next round. So we're going to start this the same way that we started the last round. So we're going to chain three, two, three. And then I'm going to do one double crochet stitch. So we have essentially two stitches in the corner there. And then I'm going to create my first corner here by chaining two. And then I'm going to do two more double crochets in that same corner space. All right. Now we're going to start crocheting across the top of this little side here. So I'm going to do one double crochet in each of these three stitches from the round below. So one, two, three, and then we're going to do two double crochets into this corner chain space. One and two. And then we're gonna make that corner again the same way. So chain two and then two more double crochets in that same chain space. So by now you can kind of see a pattern forming. So in each chain space, which makes up the corner, we're going to do two double crochets, two chains, and then two more double crochets. And then we do one double crochet stitch in each of the double crochets from the round below. So we're just going to repeat that same pattern until we get to the other side. I'm crocheting in that row below and we're coming up on another corner here. So I'm going to do my two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets before going across the stitches from the round below. So one, two and three. If at any time you get behind, you can always pause this video and catch up or rewind it, or you can also slow down the playback speed by clicking the settings button. It looks like a little gear and it's usually in the bottom right corner of your video screen and you can select the playback speed from there that you would like to watch the video at. So sometimes that helps if you're learning something new just to watch it a little bit more slowly. So we're gonna finish up this last corner for this round here. Two double crochets, two chains, and then two more double crochets. And I'm going to do my three double crochet stitches. Nope, if I can get in there. <laughs> Across to where we started. And this is a little tight here because I slip stitched through these stitches and I probably should have done that a little more loosely. So I will next time. <laughs> Okay, now we are back at the beginning of that second round. And I'm just going to slip stitch into the top chain from my first chain three. Make sure that you do it kind of loosely. 
and then I'm going to slip stitch into that corner, which means one more slip stitch into the next double crochet, and then a slip stitch within that corner. All right, so now we're here. Let me show you kind of what we've done so far. So we've done these first two rounds, and in the next round, we're going to start incorporating your second color. For me, that's the lavender. So let's go ahead and get started with that third round. So we're just going to start how we have been with a chain three and then double crochet into that chain space. Now we're going to chain two to create the corner. Two more double crochets. And then we're going to do two more double crochet stitches. But before you finish off this second double crochet stitch, we're going to switch over to our second color. So instead of doing that last yarn over and pulling through, lay your second color on top of your hook and then use that to pull through. All right. And there you go. So make sure that for these next few stitches, you lay your first color on top of the stitches from the round below. And we're going to be crocheting around that strand right there. So when we get to the other side of these next three stitches, we'll be able to pick up the first color and drop the second color and continue crocheting with the first color. So what we're going to do is just the next three double crochet stitches you're going to do with your second color. And you can see how I have that pink held against the top of those stitches from the round below. And then before pulling through your third double crochet stitch, we're going to drop that second color and pick up the first and then just yarn over like you usually would. I like to pull this a little tight, that second color, because it's a little loose sometimes when you don't do a normal yarn over and pull through. But now you should be ready to start again with your first color. And we're just going to crochet normally how we have been all the way to the end of this round. So doing one cro double crochet stitch in each of the double crochets from the round below. And then the corners are the same, so two double crochets, two chains, and then two double crochets for each of the corners. So I'm going to speed up this part a little bit. If you need to pause once again, feel free to do so. But I wanna make this video not super, super long. <laughs> So I will meet you at the other side. Okay, so I went ahead and finished that third round. Now I can show you kind of where we're at here. So now we've crocheted up to this point. And as you can see, there's a little bit more violet in this coming round and also there's violet all the way down here and on this side as well so that would be your second color so what we're going to do is do our first few stitches here that are in color number one we're going to switch over to our second color 
And then when we switch back, we're going to bring that color along for the remainder of the round. So I'll show you how to do that now. All right, so we're going to do our first corner, how we have been, chain three with a double crochet. Chain two and two double crochets. Okay, now we're going to do two double crochets with your first color. But before you pull through on that second double crochet, we're going to switch back to the lavender. And we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. So we're not going to cut this yarn. We're just going to bring it up here and pull through. Make sure it's kind of loose because we're going to lay this color against the top of the round below. So that end is hidden and we don't have to cut the yarn and create more ends to weave in. So we're going to lay both this part of your second color and then your first color on top of the round below as we crochet. And we're going to crochet seven double crochet stitches with your second color. So using your non-dominant hand, you can kind of hold down those two strands that we're crocheting around. When you're doing this, make sure that your second color is somewhat tight so you don't end up with a big loop when you're done crocheting but make sure that it's loose enough to actually fit underneath all of these stitches. So I've done four double crochets so far, and I'm just going to, you see on the back here, this is the loop from the second color. I'm going to try to just put my hook underneath there, and that will really help to integrate that little piece of yarn within the rest of the project. So two more double crochets here, but before I finish up this last one, I'm going to switch back to my first color. So dropping this behind and then picking up that working yarn to pull it through. All right. So now, like I said, we're going to bring our second color along with us and just like we did before, leave it on top of those stitches and you're going to crochet around that little strand there, your working yarn of your second color. And this is just going to go how we've been crocheting the whole time. And I will tell you when to switch over again. your chain two for the corner, two double crochets, and then we're going to do the two double crochets in the corner and then nine stitches before we switch back over to our second color. So you're going to do nine more double crochet stitches. Here's number eight, and here's number nine. And we're going to drop our first color and then switch over to that second color to yarn over and pull through. All right, so from here, we're going to do these two stitches, the corner, and then two stitches on this next side. 
in your second color and then we will switch back to the pink so that's total that's eight double crochets and then two chains for the corner here's our corner first four double crochets we're going to chain two Two more double crochets for that corner. And then we're going to do one. And then two. And then switch back to our first color. Okay, now that we have switched back to our first color, we're going to do seven stitches in that first color, bringing the second color along. And we're at the bottom of our heart now. If that helps you envision kind of what we're doing here. So here's four. And then seven before you pull through, we're gonna switch over back to our second color and keep bringing that first color along. We're going to mirror what we did on this side. So there will be four double crochets, two chains, and then four more double crochets. So one, two, the next two will be in that chain space. Chain two for the corner. Two more in that chain space. And then two more. Before we switch back to our first color. All right, and we're going to crochet the rest of this round up to here in the first color. So I will meet you there and then I'll show you how to start the next round. All right, so we have reached the end of our fourth round, and I'm going to show you how to get started with the, the fifth round here. And it's going to be a little bit different than what we've been doing because we want to bring this second color along with us. So what I'm going to do is just take both strands of working yarn and then slip stitch into the top of that chain like we've been doing with both of them okay and this round is going to start with the second color so I'm just going to take that second color now dropping the first and yarn over and pull through and then I'm going to pull tight to kind of hide that first color and then I'm going to just slip stitch into that corner around that the working yarn for your first color still so it kind of comes along with you just one slip stitch and then two all right and then we're going to start this round so chain three one double crochet Oops. chain two and then 
two double crochets. We're just going to go with the second color straight across the top here. So I will meet you at the other side and then I'll show you when to switch back to your first color. But this is the last round where we are using both colors. After this round, we will be able to fasten off our heart color and then just finish up the rest of the square with our second color. Okay, we're at the corner chain space now, so we're just going to do the corner in the second color. And then we're going to do the next two double crochets in our second color and then switch back to our first. So one, and then two before finishing, make sure you switch back to your first color. And bringing that second one along We're going to crochet seven double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then here's our seventh before pulling through, switch back to your second color. We're going to crochet the rest of this side in that second color. Continuing into the corner space. And then the next six stitches will still be in your second color, then we'll switch back. five, and then six. And switching back, we're only going to do three stitches in the first color here. So one, two, three, switching back. and repeat what we did on this corner. So we're going to do the rest of this side and then six stitches up this side before we switch back over. All right, then we're going to count six here. This is five, and then six, switching back. that first color and we're going to do our last seven stitches using our first color before we fasten it off. And 
and here is seven. Oops. I'm gonna switch over. I'll finish up this round so we only have a couple more stitches here. Slip stitching to the top of that chain three. And then now I'm just going to grab my scissors and trim that first color. And we're done with that. So the rest is easy from here on out. This whole next round is just going to be in your second color. So crochet as we have been, so slip stitching into that corner, chain three, one double crochet, two chains, two double crochets, and I'm going to crochet in each stitch along here do my corner as I usually would. So two double crochets, two chains, two more double crochets, and then just repeat that for each side until I get back up here. So I'm going to fast forward this part and I will meet you back around here. Okay, I finished crocheting around in my second color, the lavender, and I just slip stitched to the top of that chain three there. And if you want to, at this point, you could crochet another round or a few more rounds, it's up to you, but I'm gonna finish mine off. So I'm just going to cut the end there and then pull it through my last loop to secure it. Then from here, you're just gonna have to weave in those ends on the back and then trim them off. But once you do, your finished project should look like this. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this pattern, please leave them in the comments below and I will make sure to get back to you on that. If you haven't already, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel because I have lots of new fun tutorials coming out all the time. I would also like to invite you to head to my website, crochetunravel.com and sign up for my email list there so you can be up to date on all the new things in the Crochet Unraveled world. But that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Happy crocheting!